Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. Today, I'm gonna to talk about green screens. If I've set up my green screen and lighting correctly, right now, you don't see me in front of a green screen. But if I do this, now you can see the green screen. What I did, I bought this green screen a while ago and I put it away because I had to really muck up my studio space with all kinds of stands and, and it just it, it cluttered it up and it sort of stressed me out and since this is my office for work as well as my studio I thought yeah I don't really like that and I'm not really doing anything for green screening anyways I might as well get rid of it so I rolled it up I put it in the garage and I forgot about it and then I built well I built but I changed my studio and that's the background that you see basically the back wall I took f oak f floor paneling, I think it was, and I just started screwing it into the wall so that the background of me was, was paneling. And then I started hanging shit and doing all that kind of stuff. And I kind of forgot about the green screen and really, again, I didn't plan on doing anything with it. But now that I'm doing a, a daily video, you know, I gotta have stuff to do. So I thought it'd be fun to pull out the green screen again and, and you know, see if I remember how to do anything with it. and. See if I can learn something new. So what I've got now is the green screen on an expandable rod that's got curtain rod holders screwed into the wall. So that is in front of my, my like double wide closet doors and I have it weighted at the bottom to try to pull all the wrinkles and everything out of it and keep it tight. Then I have an LED light from Home Depot that's like a floodlight behind me and you can't see it because I'm in front of it angled up to light the green screen. And then I have a multi LED panel light on a gorilla pod wrapped around a light stand right sort of in front of me, but off to the camera a little bit to sort of light me up evenly. And then I have another small little aperture light underneath me on a bar stool in front of me to sort of even out that light from coming up to match this light in addition to the rest of the lights that I've got on in the, in, the, in the office. Now, I noticed last night in my video, I have a big 40-inch screen TV uh, mounted to the wall that's like above my computer on the desk on that side of the studio. And I sit on that side of the studio directly across from it. And when I forget to turn the TV off when I'm filming, then all the action and the light changing on the TV screen shows up on, on the video. And I forgot about that until I was watching it. So right now, Captain America, the, uh, the first soldier or whatever the hell it is, the first Captain America is on, and there's all kinds of explosion shit going on. And I don't know if that's really affecting this because I can't see it because these LEDs are blinding me. I'll find that out. But I thought, you know what? This could be fun. We'll see what I can come up with. So now I will turn the keying back on, and now I'm, I'm not in front of a green screen. Since I've gotten a positive response when I talk about gear even though I feel there's like a million gear channels out there and all that kind of stuff I mean I'm not strictly gonna always do stuff about gear but I have a lot of gear and a friend of mine chastised me at one point and said you have so much gear and you need to you keep saying you're gonna make videos and post them pick something and talk about it she said, you have like more gear than some studios. So just pick stuff and start talking about it. That way you get used to filming, editing, and posting. And you can start building, you know, your video count and blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff. So if you have any questions about gear or you want suggestions or, or, or anything like that, just drop me a line. Let me know. I'll be more than happy if I have something like that to talk about it. That's all I got for you today. I just wanted to try out the green screen setup just so that you can see... What happens when I start turning lights off, I'm going to start with the smallest one first and work my way around. And then you can see exactly how bright these lights are. I'm going to shut off the little aperture, which is the little light that's down here below me. Okay, so now you can see all that shadow here. This is that light. Now I'm going to turn off the big LEDs. There you go. And that's the LED that's lighting up the screen behind me. I could probably do the keying just like this, but look at how orange I look. And that's just because I'm turned the other way. That light up there is red. That one's green. This one's blue. 
and then all my lights over on that side of the uh, uh, of the studio are all lights to actually do work. So I end up looking like this. Thanks for joining me. I mean, I haven't taught you anything. I'm just blathering on about the shit that I've got, but I hope you keep coming back. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. I'll, you know, I'll be more than happy to answer. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And, you know, I'll end up seeing you tomorrow. And as always, remember kids, forward and up.